Uh, so sticking with the documentaries for one more time now. We need to talk about Cosby, boy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So once again, once again, Philly is having a moment. Philly uh, is having a moment. Not Philly, to be precise. Yeah, not Philly. A moment. <laughs> right. So, um, all right. So before we start, there is a solid companion piece to this that I recommend. This is a, I forget the guy's name is Joel or something like that. Joel or Jose or something like that. Look up yeah, Jose. Look up Jose and what a guy does. He also has something called We Need to Talk About the Cosby Show. He has a, 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 docu- a kind of a documentary slash video essay about, uh, I think it's close to two hours long. I'm not really sure how long it is. Um, and he does something similar, but he more focuses on the show and the nature of the show, right? And, and the, cr- the critics of the show and whatnot. Um, so that is a good companion because there's a lot of overlap with this. Um, but I thought uh, with this documentary, it was just more in depth. And and kind of less admittedly, you know, kind of a little post talked and after the fact, but still still pretty good. Um, but yeah, that's just quick rundown of it, and then we could get into this. Yeah, well, um, if, if, if you don't mind, in this case, uh, Ricardo, just what is run through what? Um, yeah, all right. This, so, yeah. Well, well, this of the sure. this of the the, the coffee guys. Before I forget, um, this is a, a four part um, docu series which um, aired weekly on Showtime. It is from um, W. Kamar Bell, um, yeah. who is. Like I'm not always like in you know with everything that he does as far as you know TV and you know stand up comedy yeah, and whatnot. These, but it's a name that I always hear about. Like I always hear about yeah, him. You know? he's, he's one of these comedians. You only can you more know them for for um I know I know them know him for for politics than comedy. To be honest, he's one of those. Right. Yeah. Um. You know, I I not that, that, that he, I don't know him as a funny guy per se, but he's because he's more of a political commentary guy. All right, fine, moving on. I don't know him for, like, anything else. So I know a, a lot of comedians like that anyway, that you more know them for comedy. I'm sorry, you know, you more know them for politics and comedy um, at this right. point in the career. But the thing is, I kind of never knew him for the comedy part at all. And he's, like, in his 40s, so it's like, uh, that kind of weird. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah, what, 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 is, what is this show about? Yeah, basically, he just, he just runs through the, the, Cosby, the Cosby show, just, just his, from his perspective, um, the whole Cosby drama from, you know, Cosby's career from beginning to now. And then the, the sexual assault scandals and, and the nature of the law. But what, why, I just want to get into it now, uh, why it works well. I think this works very well. Um, two things. It works from his perspective. Yes, he, yes. I he, love he, that, yeah. He's a fan, right? He's a fan. He was basically the perfect mark for Cosby, right? Um, yeah. And when we say fan, like we talk about he grew up on right. um, Fat well, Albert. Yeah, and, exactly. and something that that like for me, I you know, like you, you hear little bits of, but like in this show they go into detail with it. How big of a deal, like how big of a figure, yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill Cosby was on television. Eh? So right. he was literally grew up seeing this guy on TV. Yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. No, how, that, how, that's yeah. before that's before the Cosby Show even dropped. Eh? Right, exactly. Before, long, yeah. long before the, just the career of Cosby, the whole um, dimension of the whole aspect of Cosby as a person. And as I say, yeah, as a, as a single, as a black black guy growing up, in, and it, as a as a well, he's not he's like a Gen Xer. It's that generation, right? I, like I I a little too young for Cosby. Like I don't like Cosby as much. I more know Cosby. I know more Cosby from the perspective of um, just kind of being the more paternalistic end of things, right? I am that's the Cosby I know, um, because you know I'm you know I'm I'm on record as being more of a freshman person, and I, and I give this point back when we were doing the freshman's review with the, with the anniversary review. Uh, yeah, you know, Cosby was always kind of just kind of paternalistic, and and you know, that's how I always interpret Cosby. He's somebody who yeah. his show, his show I didn't, I was not a fan of simply because of that. It's, it's a dated premise, but you could understand people older than me, my aunties and, and some of my older cousins really love that bullshit, right? Yeah, I, I was, and, and I guess it's the same thing for 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 you as well. But for me, you know, it's just that yes, we were born in the eighties, but the nineties were were, were right. the were the yeah. times that we resonated with us. So you know, fresh yeah, I have, I have, I have no, yeah, I have no working no working conceit of Cosby in the same way. So yeah, I was like, cause, super cause shows was just right. 80s stuff, right? Even exactly. a different world was just eighties, eighties, eighties. Like, right. like well, no, well, like, yeah, a different world. Different... Though, you get that with fresh prints, right? Yeah, Sorry. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so that, that is, that's how I kind of feel about it. It's just, um, you know, it's a product of time. And so it's interesting to watch these people from their perspective. Or everybody who's speaking here is in their 40s and 50s and, and people who grew up with Cosby, come up with Cosby himself. Um, it was interesting to see Dougie Doug, you know, to all people. Like, oh, yes. yeah, I, I see, you know, a hot minute, Judd. And, and, and here's the thing, uh, 
he is from because I actually remember watching this on TV when, yeah, when it dropped in the too. late nineties. The the um Cosby, yeah. which was like the, yeah. the the revival series, if you will, right? Right. The it renewal, if you want to call it like that. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, wasn't like, that. Yeah, it wasn't the same sh- like universe, but it was like a similar conceit and like Cosby in that universe was more working class and it was a little more grounded. Like I, I remember that him and and Fisher, uh, Fisher Rashad, you know, came back now. I think right. so. But what yeah, is, yeah, yeah. What is the same people? Like, I can't remember the same same continuity. Like, um, and I, 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 like I got I got in, in terms of like a, it's like a spiritual sequel. So like, in a sense, it was like how later Cosby was, where they more started to take care of people and they more started to keep cater to the, cl- the classes you stuff. Right. But at no point I get the sense of it was the same universe. Like I didn't get yeah, that. Yeah, I, I I don't remember to be honest. It probably was, I, I, I don't know, right? Yeah, anyway. I, but it was it was interesting seeing Doggy Dog go up um do because yeah. again, you know I me, mean? he's just a guy, you know, that you just forget that, you know, he was he was kinda big in the nineties, right? And also um, kind of dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh god. I thought uh, running, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Um. And you know, I always, I always remember the one thing I always remember from Cosby, the show itself, though, was uh, Madeline Kahn. She was in that. That was like the last okay. time I ever saw her before she she passed away. Yeah. She was. Right, she right. was a. Uh, she was part of the cast of that show. But yeah. Right. Go on. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. So just Cosby. You know, his career. He how important he was. Blah blah blah. And then they get. They what they do with every episode? They juxtaposes with the sexual assault stuff, and how how really really premeditated a lot of this stuff was like in on his partner like again one of the one of the things i i kind of used to hold on to as uh, the closest thing to a defense of cosby and this is even cosby himself seems to be like not aware of of his own like what he think he's doing wrong what he think he's doing not it's not a problem but i also was saying well no it's a product of the time and it's, it's just like yeah he he, he is he has crossed into the, del- the domain of rape but it's not like it was a party culture thing and no this this documentary like just shut that bullshit down no, Cosby was very premeditated in the sexual assaults. You know yes. what he was doing. You know, it, it was really, really planned ahead of time. Real deep narcissism. And and then they they, they, they juxtapose it. Just the good. And, and the whole thing is that joke of... And I suppose if, if Dave Chappelle wasn't in trouble with, with that crowd nowadays, they would have probably just used that joke. Now. But they, they had a little, quick little clip of Dave Chappelle in it. Um, you know, yeah, he he helps but he rapes. <laughs> That's the whole show. <laughs> yeah. The whole show is that. He helps but he rapes. Um, yeah, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I stuff that I was waiting for, and, and, and then the fourth episode addressed it. So that's uh, just these little things, and then we'll move on. Uh, he I thought they would have actual uh, actual interview by Keenan Thompson, but we didn't get that. What we got, oh, was set. yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. I was hoping uh, I was thinking we was gonna yeah. get that, but nah, we just got the, the, the set Myers interview like that, and that was enough because that's the one I, I remember. Like yeah. oh right, Keenan Thompson was was always kind of pick up someone's off it because we from a long time now. And yeah, started- I, I think even Keenan himself kind of wanted to dismiss the fact that he starred in a big budget version of a live action version of Fat Albert. Which by the way, no, yeah, I mean, listen, about to see. No, nice, yeah, nice, forgot nice, about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, that's the thing with, with, with <laughs> Keenan Thompson. His career kind of let's be clear. Keenan Thompson leveraged his career on Cosby. Like that's uh, a uh-huh, fact. Mm-hmm, yeah. Go back to go back from since the days of all that. He had a really good. Cosby, into you know imitation. That was yeah. true. He's a play Cosby on all that, like from since then. So his yeah, like, yeah. whole career was all that. Like if it was no Cosby, even to have a career, to be honest. Um, or we're not sure, right? But like, yeah. So he, I can see why he would. This would probably be kind of a problem with him now. Like he, you know, it, you know, it didn't hit here, but it hit here though. Um, the way they do really good is just the, the, the again the juxtaposition and and Cosby as a figure, right? Very similar to O.J. Simpson, somebody who people are really rate up and you know was you know, the golden child kind of character. And because they leverage them so heavily, they didn't think that they were capable of something like that. And it's so weird to watch a person like that just, you know, hide in the forays of, um, you know, American culture of, of race and sex. And they, they didn't get into it too deeply, but they had some, like, really... They, he got some good people to interview to, like, understand, you know, why where everybody coming from on this. Like, they had this, this woman, she was the sex expert. I thought she was great. Um, oh yes, yes, yes. And she, yeah. she made she made she made this point about like yeah, look, you know, it, it's quite possible to have a a version of what Cosby was doing to people and have it be um written well, different legal, sex- legal. Exactly. Well, right, well, yeah. well, just, well, just consent, right? Just the, right, mm. the aspect mm. of consent and and how to do the consent part because what and then he got another thing. I'm really glad he got was a, a drug expert, right? I love yes. this part there mm. where he talk about Spanish fly and it's something that as a kid I just never understood. Like, wait, what are people talking about with fucking Spanish fly? Like as a kid, I never understand what Spanish fly was, right? Same and then, here too. I remember like, there was there, there was a soca song about it. 
Yeah, yeah. And yeah. We'll and stop I there. Remember, mm-hmm. I remember when I reached out around, like, well, fine, yeah, I get the access to the internet and, you know, actually like, start doing research on what Spanish flight does exactly to people. Like, uh, that's, that's what people, that's what Spanish flight is. It's not, it's just something that is imitate sex stuff. Like, that's what it is. And the guy gets explained it. I was like, oh, shit, yeah. Spanish flight is a rape drug. He's like, sorry. And what, what I like the guy, what the guy does is that he doesn't like, get into this aspect of there's specific rape drugs or not, right? Anything could be a rape drug, right? I like that. Like he said, he said, saying you have rape drugs is like saying you have a murder knife. Like yeah, any I, knife, I, I love that. Line right, that's simple, very it. simple metaphor. Anything could be a murder knife. And they, they, they get into that, that aspects of, you know, our culture, the mix of, you know, well, what, what effectively what people call rape culture, rape apologist culture. And they get into that. They get into, you know, you know shame of sex culture. They don't get into too much. We just, just mention it as a aspect of it. They get into the aspect of, of they do this with the last, last, the last, um, two ones the last two episodes mm-hmm. uh the aspect of well yeah the relationship between you know the, the, the you know black men being being on the man on the mind right you know because it, 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 that was a big defense of course we oh is 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 um was this boy name was murdered now for was another white woman um jo- uh, oh gosh um emmett till emmett, emmett, till, emmett right till. Yeah, yeah 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 a lot of people was using our emmett till narrative to defend cosby and like not even that could work like sorry um, they, you know, they had to come out, come out wrong, and a lot of black people were just hesitant, right, because of this. And they made it work, right, in in that conceit. And and I really glad Kamau Bell was perfect in like three minutes because he was the, the perfect filter for it. And the the, the other aspect of course we I like that they get into. Um, and this is my last point, and you you could you could go. Uh, the aspect of Cosby just is to sheer self-importance. Like, even if Cosby wasn't a sexual assaulter, even if he wasn't a rapist, he would still be incredibly problematic. Like mm. because because of the whole what they call from Cindy Pointer the, the pound cake speech and how oh, um, yes, they, got, yes. they got this guy um, Lamont Hill right I don't follow him on Twitter but as as he's in my circles of who else follow on Twitter and yeah you know they, they get they make that point of how look Cosby Cosby's PhD is kind of a bullshit PhD is just to say that you're a PhD but it's kind of bullshit right and he more qualified to talk about this stuff than than Cosby is and but Cosby's still acting as if He's the patriarch and he, you know, in charge of that. He tried to like, you know, railroad uh, Lamont Hill's academic career. Like, study yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that, that story that he told, boy, was yeah. just like, that was brutal, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, like, study that for a second. He shared that city of Cosby, you know, like to, to do some shit like that. And like, I, I was up, I, I always had a problem with Cosby from since a long time in that sense. But I didn't know he was a rapist. Like, I knew he was, he used to spend time in the Playboy Mansion, so he was a philanderer. I get that. And he was like, uh, and and they got into that narrative. It's like, oh, the rape part, boy. When the rape part coming up, boy, like that that was like new to people. Now, like a lot of people didn't get into that now. And then they're up into they, they get into that aspect with because of Hannibal Boris, right? Um, but that was it was it was really they cover everything. That's what I like about this documentary. It cover almost everything. The one thing I thought they, they would uh, have a quick clip of is the Black Dynamite episode. <laughs> like I thought they would. Have oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I, that's that's just a little snippet because I got that. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah the, whole, the whole documentary is he helps, but he rapes. And they really get into the, even the victims, like, understand the working weight of what is happening here in terms of Cosby and his legacy and how uncharitable people could just say, ah, you see, all the black people could literally, like, could never come up now. And you could see why it is that people would be so, like, why they would defend Cosby, you know? like, why, especially him, like, he in particular. Like, if it was, if it was any other rich black man, fine, but he in particular, because of his moral significance. And what he what he meant for so many people is is the Jimmy Savile thing, right? You know, it's that it's not as bad as Jimmy Savile to be fair, but um, it's up there, right? It's it's just that level of nonsense. No? It's like you can't, so many people's hanging on your every word, but to be honest, and still to this day, people defending Cosby, right? Um, That's right, and, right. And well, the last point is they, they get into the whole Fifth Amendment aspect of it, right? With with Bill Cosby, uh, mm-hmm. and yeah, you're really re, you're re, they make the, the doc, point of the documentary is to really make people really sympathize with all of the, the people involved with this, especially the black community and how to move forward and what kind of heroes you have. And, you know, our generation was now starting to do something. And look, you know, we, we get the bad beat to it with Chadwick Boseman and, you know, all of that aspect, it, and they make it work. And, you know, the only man who holding it up right now is um, Denzel and Will, right? Yeah. <laughs> a couple <laughs> other black, black men who do the thing. But like, just mm. the, the paradigm of the black man and why does you don't need to this is something that I, I you know, kind of my attitude about gender is that I believe in, sorry to say it, is I believe in a world of force, right? Men equate, equate to force. And if you don't have men in some way or capacity, you're going to be in trouble, period. And you have to rehaul the world so, you know, cons- you know, totally 
to to have some kind of workable sense of peace, i.e., what you call a gynology, right? Women women controlling the world, which is perfect. Right. Which is what what apparently what what a lot of African societies were historically, right? I I, I know anthropologists, so I know enough, but mm. that you know that's the paradigm. A lot of you know a lot of black women held up the situation. Like yeah, a lot of the victims, a third of course, be victims of black women, and that was like the whole you know people race race mongering versus gender. And it's a white woman and white woman trying to tear down Cosby. They get into even the conspiracy theory about, um, and, uh, you know, if Cosby is going to buy NBC and it's all of that. Oh, yes. And they get into all of that. And I, I like that they, co- they more or less cover everything, Dread. <laughs> like, the man cover everything, Dread. And I can't be mad at that. But yeah, uh, I really, really loved it. Yeah, just you say your point, I'll come, come back and then I'll give my rating. Okay. So earlier on, you mentioned um, OJ Simpson, right? So right. for me, while I was watching this, right? Because I actually like binge through it um, a couple of days ago, right? Um, four parts, I mean, it, Falls, right? It so, was yeah. watchable. I, 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 it was long. Yeah. I, I find it time pass fast. It's, it's really good piece in the, in the part of the, 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 the editing, though. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the editing is 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 Great. superb throughout yeah. this, though, yeah. right? But um, while I was watching this, the, the, the structure of this whole thing, I couldn't help but think of OJ Me in America. Reason being right. is because it's not just about what Bill Cosby did, like the bad things he did. They, they go to his early days, like, you know, how he became such an influential figure. Yeah. They, they yeah. touch on I Spy, Jed, which yeah. was a show I always heard of. And they, they talk about how big a deal I Spy was, especially in terms of black stuntmen, like that blew my mind right Jen. yeah and you know i'm the type of person who likes to seek out you know cl- um, old classic shoes that you know if if bill didn't do what he do i would actually watch i spy now. i would watch i spy i, I mean, know there I, was the remake i know there was I, the, the, the the eddie murphy movie back in like the 2000s which had well i think one of the reasons why i watch it is because um nori had a song in it but other right. than that that so that that movie was. No, I mean, I, 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 I'm a person. I'm a person that don't believe in unperson and as a person. My, I believe in history, right? He, we know what he is. You, you say what it is, but you don't. You, I, I watch anything. I have no problem watching anything. So I will go back and watch it just to see where it is. Whatever. If I never see it before, go back. I believe in history. That's my attitude. I right, hate right. when there's this kind of weird kind of you know erasure of history that are, are, that's come with this kind of stuff that I really really. Oh, you mean like, like if oh because Bill do this thing then right. I mean. I shouldn't care about ice yeah, spy. Ice spy does exist. Right. It's, it's, no, it's, it's like um, it's like that episode of uh, remember the episode of Bojack Horseman, the show, you know that bit in, in uh. Bojack Horseman, the show when they, the show was talking about Cosby. I say yeah, we edited the show as if he didn't. Oh, exist. <laughs> that that right, that nonsense. I, I have a <laughs> massive. <laughs> let me just be clear about something. I have a massive distrust of any kind of that kind of editing and and erasure of history and the unpersoning of somebody. No, Bill Cosby existed. He was a rapist. You know, you yeah, know, yeah. deal with that. That's part of the history and the narrative. You don't change the, you know, you don't erase some of history as if it didn't exist. I have mm. a big distrust of that. Whatever, move yeah. it on. Yeah, that's, that's um, but, on that, right. Yeah, but I just love how they just cover his career, right? Yeah. From I Spy to the comedy yeah. albums, um, even to to Bill Cosby himself, the stand up um, show that he right. did, which yeah. I remember watching, right? And um, I remember a lot of people saying, you know, one of the best stand up performances of all time. I only saw that shit once, so I I can't honestly I can't honestly tell you if it's great or not, right? I do love that they brought up um, Eddie Murphy, um, Delirious. That to me is right. one of my all time favorite exactly. stand up right. shows, right? And they what, also what brought up I... Raw, and I forgot yeah. in Raw he mentioned right. how because we called him and talking about yeah. you know with the party mount and the filth uh, and the food the and yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, they get into that whole conceit of 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 course we just being so paternalistic now. There's this this oh well, you have to be clean and you need to be clean and this kind of bullshit shit no. um that that i mean that is really the thing that kind of undo him eh? because uh, yeah, the, the pound cake speech is really where the stuff come thing i, I yeah, mean I, I, speaking I told... of the pound cake speech i forgot about that you know when I it brought that, up yeah. i was like oh yeah. yes yeah, yeah. that most, happened most, most of the documentary like addresses like just the history of it because most of it, I, I remember most of it like to be honest but i think it came to like a couple other little side facts and anecdotes that i was not aware of and most of the uh, the sexual assault stories also I was aware of as well. Like, oh, right, I know this woman's story, what she was saying. Because it, it was part of the legal haranguing. Um, I'm right. not sure if any, any of it was particularly unique or new to this documentary, to be honest. I think they just told back this story because she she didn't mention how she had a couple of things she couldn't say. And, well, for obviously legal reasons, right? Um, a couple of them had that had that problem in that sense, right? Uh, yeah, but they, yeah. made it, they made it work. Like, they just made it work in terms of, like, who had to come out. Everybody had to kind of... Are, like rally around Cosby and uh, against him and yeah. why and you know just the sheer nature of it and again to like like backstories because like in the in the Jose YouTube documentary 
they talk about how past actors started asking questions about Cosby, like retrospect now. And some of them kind of break down crying. And they had that same story here. I like, right. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Uh, yeah, so so quick shout out to that guy who's he does a great breakdown of, of like television stuff. And that Cosby episode is really good. Um, yeah, I'm 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 gonna check that out for sure, man. Right, um, yeah, yeah. I, I think it will work as a great companion piece, this, right? Yeah, yeah. So just 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 some stuff before we before I get to my return. Before we get to written here, right? Um I love how Kamal Bell frames this thing as, you know, I was a fan, I grew up on this thing, he was a part of my childhood, my development and all that. But he didn't make it about him, right? Right. He just kind of compared himself to other people who grew up on him. Grew up on Bill Cosby, people who were wowed by his influence, and oh, look at this, this, this black man on TV or, or throughout the seventies. That blew my mind. I didn't even know it was like that, right? It was yeah. start off with him, you know, with these historical um, essays, basically, to him in you know children shows and game shows. Like I thought it was just fat Albert, you know? I yeah. thought that was just it. I didn't know it was like legit shows on TV, like Electric Background and oh, sorry, Electric oh, Company and all that yeah. kind of stuff. I didn't know it was that deep though. Yeah. That, that was insane, right? And then and um, they, they get into the one thing I like that they get into the the quote unquote well you know especially right now with, with what's going on in the news the critical race theory stuff right yeah because we used to be dropping heat like again a lot of people yeah. used to think because we're some kind of sellout clean guy but like when it comes to like just talking about um black history African history African history in context with America and the world like no like because we was there he was up there yeah and, yeah, and yeah because we show itself even though I, I as a show I have problems with when you look back at it when it comes to quote unquote black excellence and black history it was there and it was casual like they really yeah. cover everything Joe. like in terms of was, like how you should yeah. feel about the show yeah go ahead sorry about that yeah yeah and no, 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 that's right, right. And you know, there's there's some really cool clips where you know he's um I think it's from the late sixties or the seventies, you know, talking about black history and stuff like that. Yeah. I I know they're on YouTube and I wanna watch them, but I feel if I watch them, I'll just get mad because of who <laughs> yeah, no. it's, it's like that too. Like yeah, I, I get, want to watch it to the You know, so we get into this this argument. I I personally think it's a kind of a dumb argument of the whole can you um, separate the, the art from the artist, that bullshit. Like, uh, which, which was a question, by the way, that Kamal yeah, brings up near the end yeah, of the final it's, it's episode, not, which I love. It's not, yeah. it's not a useful, like, to be fair, I don't think it's a particularly useful question to ask. Um, it's one of those, I, I was never like, what do you mean by that, like, exactly? Of course, you can't separate the art from the artist. Like, you can't do that. Like, you could say whether or not the content feeds into what he the, what the did. Like, it's a different argument. Um, and in the case of Cosby, the answer is yes. <laughs> like, he had a constant set of jokes about sexual assault and you know the i think the cliff hospital character itself was uh obgyn and again to them them kind of things right? yeah 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 i love how, uh, how, how um how there's this moment where he would show his interviewee some clips right and they'd be like oh right. wow i forgot about this blah 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 right. and then, yeah. then there was one moment where they asked him what, what was his job right and then when yeah. he brought up obgyn they're like yep. oh, what yep. i just yeah. thought he was just this doctor i yep. just ran yeah, doctor you know, and for me, I, I remember growing up, I just thought, like, oh, he's just, he's just a doctor. Like, he's a okay, doctor, so, right? Yeah, but so then later on, it's like, oh, that's what he does. Okay. Right. Well, no, yeah. So in, in, uh, with respect to the um, the show itself, like, the, so they, okay, so as far as I know, Nick at Night pulled the Cosby show, as far as I know. But um, there's still some syndication of it somewhere. And I forget, the out of all the syndications, they did... Edit uh, maybe, once. maybe TV Land. Uh, well, no, well you know, that, that's if anybody watches I that. Think, show, right? I, think TV Night, <laughs> I, I think TV Land is still showing. I'm not really sure what happened with because we show if it's still showing or because I have a big debate about who should get the money or not. Because remember, like one of the former actors was working in a Costco or some shit like that or a Sam's Club or something like that. Like it was mm. weird. Like they're not getting money and it has not to do with Cosby. You know? And people was wondering if, if it's because they pulled the show and nobody gets syndication anymore. It have a whole sort of drama with respect to how the money flowing. You know? Um, but the, the, there's one thing that is outright pulled, and they show that clip, the the barbecue sauce clip. It's like, yeah, well, I remember that. I was like, I I forgot about that cleaning. Yeah, and like, then when I saw, I was like, wait, yeah, this yeah. happened. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no. The clip that, that he did show there, there's one clip that they showed you, and it's and I love how Kamal frames like this kind of sums up what the show is. Um, it's the one where they were lip singing that 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 soul song that night, right. and of course, right. you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sure doing that, baby, right? Yeah, like. I was I like I always remember that moment like when yeah. like because we used to see it on TV six right it showed that right and yeah. I always remember that one scene you know what I mean but for him to bring it back up and yeah. see yeah that kind of sums up what the whole show and why it works yeah, yeah I was like yeah that's true but the barbecue sauce thing however though I 
didn't even know about that, but when I see it play out, but it's just like, geez, I'd see the reactions of the interviews with themselves. Like, wow, this, yeah. this, this is really dark, boy. Like, you know, wow, it's unfortunate. We didn't even I, know. I, I, I was surprised. Well, I know they wasn't getting other people on the show itself. Too many. You can't get it. See That's show. that I was going to bring up too, because I was that, thinking we would have seen yeah. Keisha or even Malcolm Jamal Warner. Um, yeah, nah, not not, not so much or even Simone. You're not going to see too, because you're not going to see Raven, because, you know, she was just like a. Minor nah, character, and and right? Young, yeah, yeah. But I was expecting to see like, like, um, you know, like Malcolm at least. That that I... least, uh, that for, that that for Sarah Rashad, but nah. at least a Malcolm. No. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 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 they're too big. They're too, they're too close to the bad dread. Like it's too close. Uh, like, yeah, that yeah. is whole life dread. Like that is the the identity dread. Like you know, I you know I, when I think of Malcolm or Jamal Warner, I don't think of his shows like 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 Jeremiah or Jericho or anything like that. I or think Malcolm of and Eddie. Remember that? <laughs> Eddie, right, right, right. I don't think I know shows. You think I'm as T O T Hoxable, period. That's yeah. it. Like, you know, sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is really yeah, you know, it's real like so much emotions in this now. And I really like that's what Kamal Bell does a great job with. He you really empathize with them. Like we live in an age, look, and it's something that is a natural product of the world. But now I find nowadays it's particularly acute of being uncharitable towards the past. Right? Just you're new and you're you're young and you're sexy and you're pure. And you never do nothing wrong, and you you gonna fix the world. And you know, even though your your most of your your education and thing come from the past, you had to destroy the past. And it's this attitude of being uncharitable, especially if you're black. Like yeah. all, I, I make that joke along. Remember, I make that joke with with, with us at the party, the, the time. And I said, right now, in the last next few years, every black man, old black man, undercut. I make that joke. Mm. Every old black man undercut. Period. Like once you are black man above a certain age, you're undercut. Simple because yeah, the, sorry, the, the society and, and what was catering to you is what catered to you anyway. And you, even if you was innocent, you clean, you was getting licks for shit anyway. So like I don't put it. And they 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 really he really gets into that. I was really surprised how sympathetic he made the whole situation for everybody involved, including Bill himself, somehow. Yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Bill, yeah. eh? Like let me this up, they're real drag bill in this, eh? But yeah, they're but really, but they, but they didn't they didn't overly right. demonize him. They didn't right, do they put that. him in a real workable historical context. They talk about when his son dead, and they talk about yeah, they talk they cover everything. They real cover everything. I was really impressed at how much he covered anything. Anyway, last point. Yeah, yeah, know. right. So just 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 a couple more things before we get to Rita, right? But yeah. as you could tell, guys, there's a lot to take in from this, right? Yeah. One thing that caught me completely by surprise though was the mention of the Playboy Mansion, and there's right. a clip that they show from the early '60s where they explain how you know the Playboy yeah. bunnies work, yeah. and a certain newscaster i'm not gonna say who her name is was there dread covering yep. everything yep. and it's what you see on set when she's talking to her co-host dread and yep. how they relate that and show <laughs> other instances of this dread yep. my yep. mind was blown i was like wow because right. without spoiling anything it just really shows just how deep sexism is no, like, yeah, deep they cover, yeah they cover they cover like a couple recent people with with the um in recent times and there's three of them they two they do three of them who are to resign um, yes. and all, of, all of his white guys, right? All of this show, yep. clip all three of them in our road dread. Like the fellow say, I forget his name, um, Irish fellow. He do that. Then they had Rose, Charlie Rose, mm. right? Charlie Rose had he used yes. to their whole yeah. And then uh, Matt Lauer get washed out too, right? And well, yeah. all of it was real ridiculous. Like it was Boy. like, but, it, but they, what? Okay, so this is what I like about it. They they, they balance it in the sense of the, the conceit of race, right? And and the the whole we mentioned this earlier with the whole Emmett Tillin aspect and that narrative. But the, the part of it that they, they do really well is that, no, a third of Cosby's victims were not white women, right? Yet uh, two-thirds is white women. Okay, it's a lot of white women. But it's just, it's just who dies the problem. It's the whole culture. Now, he's just the most biggest monster in the, in the conceit now. And mm-hmm. I, I know I'm going to get a little drag for this, but Dave Chappelle and all mentioned this when he talk about um, with slavery, right? The, the, how the system is unfortunately set up. A, a lot of black men have unfortunately get into that trap. Again, it's not excusing Cosby. But it, 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 you can see the kind of end point of the behavior now. Who does get away with it first? And then who think they could get away with it and come late and get washed out, right? Still not excusing Cosby, of course not. But you can see, you know, the, the, black, the black slave owners always be the, the most vicious slave owner, for example. And that is when yeah. things start to change. And is uh, when money coming in. And it's a whole part of, with respect to who, who should have money and why. And there's a whole thing with it, with that there going on that's why i don't really believe the whole at one point i believe i believe the whole nbc buyout thing now because yes he was right. powerful enough to do that it makes sense i'm not sure but i i think it's not true as far as i understand um, right so, so that, that, yeah go ahead yeah 
just, 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 sorry. So just, just around up, right? Um, yep. but you know, it's the interviews themselves that really makes this, this, this docu series worth by, especially for the victims themselves. By and um, yeah. I mean, they're they're distressing. They're hard to listen to, way, but um, yeah, boy, it, it it really will make you like if you haven't already, really will make you look at um Bill in a totally different way. It really, yeah. it really reminded me of um what it was by that that um. R. Kelly um, docu series, which I right. which I actually reviewed, um, you know, on the show here, right. um, and that that in particular got me angry, Jed, especially right. with how they dive into his stuff, right? And I love how they brought that show up in this in this series story. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, they mentioned the, 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 the movement, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what 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 makes this whole show work though is just you know, just a strong narrative focus, right? Just how, you know, just this archival footage is um is used, um, the clips that are used and how they, you know, how they, you know, it's 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 just kind of telling this narrative, right? I love how ever so often he would show his interviewees these these clips and whatnot, right? There's a great, 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 great use of two, I would say two of probably the most memorable open the title opening sequences for the Cosby show. They right. usually end with Cosby just doing this 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 broad smile and his yeah. eyes are beady and all that kind of stuff though. There's one that I always remember where they, they had this kind of Broadway style to the intro with everybody dancing. Right. It always yeah. ends with the with the hands in his face and they hear that dun and yeah. you see that smile there. They ended an episode of this series with that boy and I clap <laughs> I clap when I yeah, see that. that was good at perfect, it, perfect, 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 right? And last thing, last though, um, just our final episode, boy, really, really worked for me, boy. When they, they just brought all the points down home, though, and what, 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 what blew my mind as well too, because you know you're thinking about the 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 um timing of when this this documentary was was filmed, right? Is when you like even come out and all was saying, okay, we are done here. We have mm. one more interviewee to go. Right. Yeah, and yeah. then oh wow, we right. just found out Bill Cosby was released. Right. Yeah. Jaw hit floor. You know. I was like, wait. Yeah, bad time. I thought all this happened, you know, up until that point. No, well, sorry. You know, like I thought everything ended, but well, technically everything ended right after he was released anyway. Right. But like I didn't know like he was done and like about to finish right on that same day, like literally the same day when he was released, Chad. And yeah. that was amazing, boy. <laughs> like I like, could not be that yeah. up. All right. And they're getting to that aspect of basically what we call the um basically the undermining Fifth Amendment rights. That is basically yes. what happened. And again, so this is the moment where I keep saying Philly is having a moment. Let me tell you something, eh? I am so glad we get it. It's a, it's a Philly's infrastructure and it and and struck and general structural issues because you have yeah. a bunch of shows that are addressing that right now. Again, Elliot uh, Abbott, 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 uh, Elementary. Abbott Elementary, yes, yes, right. Shitty, shitty school system, legal system, Fresh Prince. Yep. Listen, I don't know it was <laughs> like you always know Philly was weird, but it's like it's typical like American city stuff. But until you see Meek Mill's story. Remember they had Mick Miller yes, thing? Yes, yes, yes. And you realize how incredibly fucked up um, Philadelphia's legal system is and how a lot of politics had to go into it. I'm surprised that they didn't get into this part where the reason why they, 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 did, they did what they did to Cosby is because of, I would argue, for politics. Like they say, look, Cosby's a big fish. We had to take him down and it died for elections and DA and what a go up. Okay, all politics that shit, you say, okay. I thought it was yes. just money being passed around. No, no, not really. I, I, I mean, thought it was that. It, no, well, it, it's probably part of that. Like, I, because what happened in the case of right. Cosby? Cosby really thought he would get off because that's why he did what he did. He just did the position, like, sell him out, right? That was blatant, right? Like, that to me was the case. He thought statute of limitations was a thing. He thought he would get away with it. And that's why he did the deposition any way he did. So he could just, like, more or less, it's not like a plea deal without a plea deal, right? That's pretty much what it is. And then the mistake was, the mistake they made was, like, well, not they didn't lie to him, is that the second DA, or whoever, I forget the lawyers or whoever, come in, they basically break the old promise. And that was against the law, effectively, against the Constitution, right? It's, it's, it's you know, pleading the fifth, another James Chappelle bit, right? Like, you had to plead the fifth, right? Uh, once you plead the fifth, you're, you're off. You can't incriminate yourself, period. And that was like a huge legal mistake. They, they fucked that up. And yeah, because we get out. <laughs> Sorry, it's a legal technicality, but that's how it is. It's unfortunate. And Tarell people just do that and get away with it, especially powerful people. But, Law is the law. I mean, if you want to change the law, great. And they, they did that. Eh? They referenced um, this girl, no. this woman named um, Allred. 
Yeah, um, uh, right. I was right. I was gonna bring that up. Yeah, I was like, right. hey, Gloria all red, look, look right, cool. Right, right. Because she, she, of course, of course, she had to be front and center with with, with stuff like this, right? Um, right. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. she, she she's um, I, I would go this far because it's, it's not the best comparison, but she's basically the Johnny Cochran of 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 white women <laughs> like that. Okay, yeah, I thought he was gonna say women's rights. Period. But right, know? right, but yeah. it's the same thing. But you know, it's yeah. our kind of weird shit. It is to her as well. Um, in that sense, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cause she she make mention of um, that famous feminist who's like a big time racist, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, I like when she make this statement like, "Oof, uh, okay, you can get away with it for now in the context, but it's not the best, not the best example." Mm. But yeah, um, yeah, they make they mention the whole statute of limitations for sexual assault, and I like that they they, they cover that. Like, come on, come on, I was like, come on, his team was incredibly conscientious in what issues they should cover and why. Um, yes, yes. And yeah, and they, they, the main I... thing is they focus on the black women. Like, that's the main yes. thing. Focus on the black women, how to change things, who to leverage and why, and what does work, and then make it work as it is. And yeah, we get a real fantastic product overall. Yeah, and, and, give, and he just covers all this in just yeah, I'll, four I'll give hours. Yeah, yeah, I'll give, give, it, no, give it no, give it no, right, give it no. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, nine out of ten. Um, nice. it's not brilliant. It's not Moji made in America. It's not that masterpiece, but it's still pretty good. Like it's still it's still pretty damn good in terms of like telling your story, balancing it well, showing context, and you know it's. You know the, the the narrative of Black America, how power and then it get tainted, and you're wondering, you know, how people doubt in it and becoming cynical about the whole enterprise of Black progress and whatnot. You could understand why it is, and and this is the kind of stuff you need, right? It's not a band aid, it's not a a quick solution or anything like that. It's it's how to you know prof, to allow us to perform real substantive change if there's any need to to be done. To be fair, right? I suppose I. You know, I'm trying to frame myself as well as I can. It's a podcast. I can help myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, nine out of ten. You know, this 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 was a this was a hit out of the park for Kamau Bell. He's, he's, you know, I didn't expect this to be as good and, and as as well done as it is. And this uh, look, Showtime is always giving some hard documentaries. It is oh, not. Yeah. It is not brilliant. Like it, it's still not like absolutely brilliant in terms of frame. You know, everything like as again you made to compare to OJ made in America. It's not as good as that, but it's still pretty good. It is still, but it's still so su- supremely. Um, you know, well made and competent over the over the course of its of its runtime. And I, again, it 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 had me for four hours. I just run it, streaming it straight, and I wasn't even thinking about hey, it, three and a half hours passed already. Holy shit! Like wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> time, even, time really flies. I, with, I didn't well, think about it. Time flying with that. And yeah. that's a sign of good, just good, good, just good filmmaking. Period. Um, and I, I just didn't expect it to be as good as it was. Uh, yeah, nine out of ten, probably a nine point five out of ten. What do you think? This is going on the list of the best of the year, most likely. I don't have my list started already. Um, nice. This is going. This is going to, going on the list of the best of the year, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Really, well, well. Go on. Yeah. That, yeah. Really, really fantastic stuff. Yeah, to- totally agree with you. It is on my top list already. Um, I think this is like probably my first entry, as far as I'm concerned, man. For, okay, now, for I've, 2022. I've I have something or, else. Or was it? Or, I'm trying to remember if there, if there was anything else big that I've, I saw I've, earlier I've, this year. I have, I have one other thing on it so far um, for best of the year, but uh, I'm going to put it up there, so I'll tell you what's my other. Oh, Woodlands, Dark and the... the oh, right, right, right. The Woodlands, the, Dark and the... Yeah, the Four yes. Yeah, the yes. Four Power. Right, that, yes. that's... Yeah, yeah. Uh, which I recommended to you, of course, right? But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, for, for for me, I'm gonna give this a strong four and a half out of five, man. Um, and sure. I, I have a feeling the more I watch this because I definitely want to check this out before years end. This this could be a five out of five for me, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah. this was just strong. Um, you know, uh, yeah. So we, we through, yeah. Here. As I say, as I say, we had to be going through our list of problematic black men, right? Like, and why are black men so problematic in their own way and right? And yeah. we had to change and talk about because like about four of them in our room for me, right? <laughs> it's like yeah, boy. It's, <laughs> it's like it's cause we. Dave Chappelle, um, Kanye West, and who else? Um, somebody else. <laughs> That's um, gonna say R. Kelly, but nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah. R. Kelly nah. was R. Kelly was done God long fucking time. You know, <laughs> he gone for me. Like lo- even before that Boondocks episode, I was like, nah, he definitely he out. Like at of no, course, yeah. At no point I think he was in the set. At no point did I had any room for doubting he case. He was just like fucking bad TV was making them jokes long time. Like they yeah, 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 yeah. That long time. So it, like, yeah. but yeah, it's it's just look. You know what do you call when you talk about success and the kind of things you have to do. And it, look, we have a double standard in terms of who is getting into trouble with what and why. And you you can't take the same pathways in a system of power, right? But being being a perpetrator, you're also the victim as well, right? But you're still a perpetrator. And I, that's how I kind of see Cosby. Because he's a person who just put himself as pure a pure force of will. And you know, in terms of just in a racist system, like he, yeah, look, he is clearly a, he was a victim of racism. 
but he rise up and he get through and he make things work when it was hard for him. Can be mad at that, but at the same time, you know, to borrow from Chappelle, who's also problematic right now, he helps what he reaps, right? <laughs> <But> <laughs> it also came part of his the demand side of it, right? Um, you know, he just didn't think that is what he was doing was wrong. He think he deserved that bullshit. It have a lot of guys who just sorry to say it, who just think women owe them something. Sorry to say it, and that is something you had to kind of learn out there and burn out your own head before you before you destroy yourself, right? Um, and yeah, yeah it, it, the demand the demand just. Man, this is just a, such a really unbelievable tragic figure dread, in that sense. Yes, Because so many people, you know, going down in that way there. Um, and it's really, really sad and unfortunate. I, I make that joke a long time. I, I, I forget when it was. I, I said in 2007, I forget, well, yeah, it was it had a bunch of celebrities dying. Um, you get a joke with some friends and say, you know, because we need to dead, right? Like, and my joke was like, anytime you probably, it's, it's something, something like, like a few years ago, though. I remember there was a, like, Probably a few years back, we were we were just complaining about all these um all these celebrities that were dying. And this was before COVID, eh? I think. No, I think no, no, so. no, no, Like it was before that. Like it was 2011 or 12 or something like that. They had a bunch of de- celebrity deaths. Uh. And I'm saying, you know, because we need to dead, right? Because if he dead, nobody gonna talk about his stuff because that stuff it started to come out around that time. Right. And I was saying, like, if he dead, nobody will talk about it as much. We will just it'll come up in conversation, but nobody will talk about it as much because he dead. Similar to Michael Jackson. Like, if Michael Jackson was still alive, even though I think Michael Jackson is innocent, let's be clear about that, uh, it still it wouldn't have been as big of an issue now. Because the reason why it wasn't a big issue is because Michael Jackson dead. <laughs> yeah. like, like, nobody going to, you know, bring it up again. Right? It had nothing to fight up or make an issue out, out of now, to be fair, right? Uh, right. But because we're not dead. <laughs> like, he just keep going yeah. on. Just keep, you know, he, 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 you know he, again, he, he share, still there. Share, share ego and force will just driving him forward now. Like, like he, that, the kind of black man he had to be when you live in the time he did. Period. Like you can't. Yeah, like, like, yeah. like he's he, he's eating right now. Exactly. Trader, you know? in, in the time he grew up in, you, you couldn't have any room for self doubt. Like that that type of self doubt would have destroyed you. you. You had to stick, 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 and pull the trigger all the time. Shoot your shot every time. Period. You don't have no. It had no mercy for you. You as a black man, no mercy. Period. And that's that, that why I think a lot of where Cosby coming from and come out well covers that. And he yes, does a yes. great job of covering that. So that's my last point here. Yeah. All right. So. Last words. Um, this this is up there as one of the best things I've seen. Um, in 2022, bar none. Um, it's similar in 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 a sense to surviving R. Kelly, but I would say this one isn't as um, you know, VH1. That's the best way I'll, I'll describe it in terms of edit and whatnot right, as right. as that one. But I mean, surviving R. Kelly is great though. I actually you know highly recommend that. Right, that was that was, that 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 I remember like binging that, and that just pissed me off to the point <laughs> that I just removed every R. Kelly song that I had on right. my hard drive. Right, it was it was that real. Right, but this one was like I mean we 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 know how scummy. Uh, Bill was, we know how influential and lovable he was back in the days, though. But this went so in depth into it, but you really understand yeah. how we were all duped, you know what I mean? Yeah. To, to, you know, to say the least, right? Um, but this covers so much ground, but I have to give credit to, to Kamal, um, Kamal Bell, sorry, for, for just pulling this yeah. thing off. Like, he, he did a fantastic job with this man. Um, I know for some, you know, subject matter, it might be a little rough, though, but I feel like for, you know, with him, he, he, he kept it as, Right. It wasn't as, like, yeah. yeah. It's what, what balanced. was really interesting? It's, yeah, it was balanced. It wasn't yeah. like disturbing or or right. like mental. Right. No, but like, you know, that's why it worked. Yeah, yeah. It, 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 he didn't. He didn't like. He didn't dog play Cosby situation at all. Eh? Because when it's time for he had this the 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 episode just stops dead just to have a a, a, a testimony, and yes, it's like yeah. right. You see how serious and how dark that shit was, and yeah. then he continued with the story and it like yeah you're laughing and taking it, but then he would like. Drop it there. Yeah, he'll just I drop know. it there. And, yeah, and, and, and compared to something like, say, Surviving R. Kelly, right. where it's just a bunch of, you know, interviews and what, look at what R. Kelly did. Look at what R. Right. Kelly did. Look what right. R. Kelly did. This one is, well, you're seeing the history. You're seeing where he's going. You see where he falls. But in between that time, look at what he was doing. Okay, you're thinking, right. oh, all this stuff is, you know, in the in the 90s and whatnot. No, this this is from the 70s. Go up to it. And the they will stop ever so up. Well, sorry, yeah. the 60s. They 60s, will stop yeah, until yeah, you. Early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While, 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 while he was fighting to, to, to get his show on TV and whatnot, this is yeah. what he was doing behind the scenes. They will yeah. stop and tell you. Yeah. It's like that now. So you can kind of watch it casually, but, you know, always be reminded that this is serious now. Um, last thing, last, even right down to the music as well, too, which I think works. Um, this really smooth, jazzy song that opens the show. Yeah. Uh, the way how, how I saw it is like almost like it's supposed to be laid back, but it almost feels like creepy, kind of predatory in a sense. Right. Like, oh, mm-hmm. this is 
this is the kind of zone that that Bill will want you to be in, and then he will slip you that that Spanish fly, or whatever, right? Mm. So there's ways that you can interpret, you know, that that thing. So I think it works in terms of just the vibe that that goes into this um, um, series, right? But yeah, this is the real deal. We've talked a lot about this, though. I we we highly recommend checking yes. it out. So this is yes, this is it's, it's really top good. five for us right now. I I, I, I could. I want to say top ten way, but I don't know why. This this is so strong way. I I don't see this moving from you know between you know in my my my, my top five bracket at all, man. Um, this this was great, man. I will we strongly recommend check it out. We need to talk about Cosby. And the last 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 thing I will say though, that title is 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 well justified though because yeah, we really really need to talk about Cosby boy. And you know, I'm, I'm glad that this 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 um this series exists though. Um, and you know, I will check out that um that that. Um, Cosby Show retrospective on Hosey's um, YouTube yeah, channel. I have a right, feeling it's yeah. going to be just as great as, as you know this this documentary yeah. series here, man. But right. yeah, um, great great series by all means, definitely check it out. 